Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the farm. Now today, before we start the video, I do just want to say that I'm using a new wheel. If you just heard the pedals at the back flap, uh, it's Logitech one. But yeah, um, I'm still figuring out the force feedback, so it's really hard to push it. And I have to do it. So if the video suddenly cuts, it's probably because my arms are hurting and I'm taking a minute rest or something. Anyway. Uh, that's also it and also the buttons aren't fully mapped in yet. Nothing's done yet. It's not done at all yet um, But yeah, also uh, this means there's gonna be new games coming to the channel not just farm sims There's Taurus bus sim, Fern bus sim, uh, bus simulator 18 I couldn't have played all of them before but all of them eventually got buggy steering wheels with my other um, Logitech G27 It's the one that comes with the panel and the cheap pedals which for like farm like are meant for farm sim it's that one and basically yeah that's that's how it's done but that one's in a box now and i'm not using this one so i haven't figured out the force feedback yet so it's really hard to push but anyway we're going to get into this video hope you enjoy see you when we begin the role play ah well it's the morning um uh, my name is uh, uh my name is derek uh i I'm a trucker and I'm doing some hauling cross farm today so I need to switch on my Mustang here and put it into reverse and pull it back oh whoops here we go round we go here we go okay indicator on and we're gonna head down to this store actually no I think, actually no, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Well, I just looked at my phone, I'm supposed to do a U-turn and head off to a farm, which is apparently orders something called a telehandler. I need to go pick up a truck from that farm, a Mack truck, which is apparently red, and then I will uh, go from there to the shop to pick up the telehandler, and then, yeah, you get the gist. Anyway, we are going, oh God, this area is really confusing, actually. Mind you, I've only moved her about two weeks ago. Aha, here's a road up here. Let's take this road right here. I don't think my Mustang's meant for this type of road, but oh well. Isn't really that bad. Gonna go about that fast, I mean, I probably wanna go about 50. Don't wanna damage the car on this home horrible muddy road, but yes. Uh, yeah, aha, right, we're gonna turn down this road here, I believe, yep. There we go, up we go, and yeah, uh, I don't fully know the way to this farm, so if I get lost, then I get lost. Oh, oh there's a road up here, let's go up this, here we go, making some good progress here. Oh, look at all this yellow stuff, wow, look at all this yellow stuff, right, there's a turning up here, god blimey, look at all this lovely yellow stuff, oh, my engine just turned off stalled the car whoops oh well doesn't matter anyway really nice farm this i mean from what i can see it looks good so now we need to go and find this red track they said it was one of these like it's in this whitish beige -ish shed over here don't really know where to park um we'll just park up here there we go Lovely, turn the engine off, hop out the vehicle, and we will hop in here. Right, that was just one of the cuts, okay. But you just ignore that. If you saw the time, that's why. Just thought I'd explain. Ah, right, we are now in our lovely Mack truck. Um, started right up. Uh, the chairs probably need a bit of cleaning, but that's all. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow, this thing feels heavy. Whoa, god blimey. Indicator on, here we go. Oh, blimey. Right, well, we need to head up to that shop then. Here we go, turn up here. God blimey, this thing really does let rip. It really is quite fast. Anyway. Head up here, around this corner there, lovely. 
Oh, this is a nice truck. I do like this one a lot. Oh, uh, it's a Mack truck. I know that. I didn't look at what model number it was, though, so I, I don't know that yet. We'll figure it out eventually. That's a bit strange how that farm has got a load of some crops growing on the outside, but then some's not growing in the middle. How bizarre. You never know, maybe he like planted the wrong crop. I don't think farmers can do that. Farmers aren't that stupid. <laughs> if you know, you know. But yeah, right. Uh, what's this over here? Oh, there's a pickup truck in there. That's nice. Nice little uh, reddish pickup truck. It's not fully red, but yeah. There you go. Indicator on or blinker. And round this corner in this nice big Mack truck. God blimey, this Mack truck is just feel, it's really got a massive steering wheel. It's quite an old truck, I think. I think from the 80s, maybe. I, I can't really tell. I don't know too much about trucks. I drive them, but I don't necessarily like the trucks that much. I just drive them. Not all truck drivers like the trucks they're driving. Yeah. I'm not really liking the normal truck driver. Basically, people rent me to drive trucks for them if they are busy, like a farmer, for say. If he has another, tr if he has two trucks, if he might be in one truck doing grain carting, and I'll be picking up something for them. Anyway, we're gonna head in here. This is the shop. And in, cool. There we go. Uh, I might be around the back here. Maybe. Uh, no, it isn't. It's probably around the front then. Uh, we do just need to park here quickly. Did just stop a bit suddenly there, but. I must have hit the wrong brake or something on the floor. Uh, I'm going to nick the engine off and I'm going to speak to someone. I'll be right back. Bye bye for now. Yep, thank you. Bye. Right, I just spoke to someone in that case area there. They said it is literally around the front. You see Matthew Ferguson telehandler with um, a section thing. I can't remember what they said. Here it is. It's already loaded a bit up onto the trailer they've got. That big metal thing there, so we're gonna have to cool bit of a tight little area. Well, we did make it, so we're all good on that front. Right. <coughs> That's really loud. Let's pull that back. Pull, 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 pull. Uh yes, yeah, the fontaine this is. So that's cool. Right, well, we're going to stick it back into reverse. It's quite a long thing, really. And now we're going to take this up to that farmer's farm. Oh, blimey. Right, well, the turning on this thing is really bizarre. It's, like, really hard to turn, which is very strange. And we're out. Right, we are going to go on our way now is nice um but yeah please tell me if you're enjoying today's episode of stuff uh i'm only gonna do so today i'm gonna record for half the video and the next day i'm doing some contracting for this farmer actually <laughs> so i will be recording that i believe um what did he say it was might have been harvesting possibly might have been cultivating maybe i don't know i think it was also just helping out on the farm doing some of the odd jobs but yeah, that'll be fun to do, I think. Anyway, we need to start slowing down for our turning up ahead here. Anyway, brakes on. And a little bit of a wider turn here. And then we're going to go full turn. About there. Lovely. And we've made it round. Um, yeah, we have made it round. Um, just need to check my phone quickly. Right, and well, I did to check my phone. Nothing interesting going. Nothing interesting is going on, which is, I suppose, a good thing. It means I'm not missing anything. Anyway, just pulling this lovely Massey Ferguson tilly handler up here, which is very nice. Uh, did sit in it earlier, as you saw. We lo oh, I did load it up. No, I didn't load it up. What am I about? No, that was the other tilly handler. I did deliver another tilly handler yesterday to a farm in where was the farm really far away from that store all the way to new york i think i don't know i forgot where it was it might be in texas maybe i can't really remember anyway when you start slowing down here 
for the turning brakes. Oh, I think the telly hands are just moved forwards a little bit, looking in my mirror. That is not very good, Eric. Do not, uh, Derek, do not break that hard again. That would not be very good. Anyway, we are now here. I don't really know where to unload this telly handle. I think we should just leave the entire trailer in one bit, just there. Anyway, I'm also going to drop off this truck, and then I'm going to see you guys tomorrow back on this farm. I'm probably going to stop somewhere and then start tomorrow's episode there as well. Right, engine needs to go off. And yeah, I'm probably going to unpark my thing somewhere properly so I can have a proper discussion with the farmer. I saw him earlier when I was driving on the way here. He was in the house. So we're going to go park on the house if they, if I can. I don't know if they're... Is there any space? I, I think they will. It didn't look like there was actually anything in the driveway, which was surprising. Maybe they've got their truck in a field or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're pulling in here. Lovely. Oh, there's a dog. Be careful of that dog. Oh, come on. Are you... Silly dog. Right. Well, uh, we're just going to have to run over its food bowl. Either. I think it'll be fine. Whoop. There we are. Stop right there. Engine off. Pop out the car. And I'm going to go find this farmer. Um, oh, hello. Hello. Good dog. And I'm going to go find this farmer. And I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye for now. Right now, I'm morning, everybody. I have to whisper because the other people are still asleep. But me and the farmer are up. And we're going to get to work. So, today he has basically told me that I just need to look around, make sure everything is doing good on the farm, make sure nothing's been stolen so far, and then I need to go and cultivate a field. That's what he said. Um, dog is asleep here, so I need to go and quickly feed it. Oh, he's awake. Good dog. Good dog. Anyway, I'm still being quiet because these kids are still asleep and I don't want to wake them up. Um, I need to go hop in here and apparently he just wants me to go and look for the planter which we're going to be using. Oh look the dog's asleep again. Oh look at the little dog. Good dog. Well I hope the dog has a nice snooze once I go off. I hope I don't run it over. No I don't think I will. Good. Try and be nice and quiet. I'm not talking loud. I've in my car. I can talk normally now. I don't know why I'm still slightly whispering in my own car. But yeah, we need to drive off over here and we need to find some tractors. Um, or something at least. Because I don't want to just be driving around in my nice car getting everything muddy in my car. Um, uh, there's, that, that doesn't look like a... Oh, what's that? That's a plow, I think think might be uh spin it right round here like a record whoops almost hit that pole there luckily i broke a bit slippy here so obviously it might have rained i think it rained last night so i went home and then i drove back and just parked in like basically the same space and yeah open up that go on open there you go ah there are tractors in here he said pick the uh, green one. Oh, there's, there's two green ones. Which one do I want to go in? <laughs> I'll go in this one. He said the yellow one's going to be in use. So, yeah. We're going to hop in the car quickly. I know I've sort of just left it here. And it could have been taken or something. But, hey. Right, let's just back out here. So, she's not going to make that turning fully. And we are in. Turn engine off. There we go, and that's nice. So we're gonna hop in this. Oh, what is it called? I've never seen one of these. I've seen the yellow one version of these over there, and I've been in one of them. Is it a class? Yeah, it's a class Lexian 5000. Oh, because it has tracks. I care, I care, I care. Okay, right. Um, actually, hold on. What is this? What is it? There's a note in here. What does it say? Do not use tractor for cultivating. Oh, well, we'll get out of that then. Um, hold on. He said, the, "Wait." He said the yellow one. No, he didn't say the yellow. One. He said like the bright green one or the no. What was it? Uh, white one. Yeah, it was the white one. Okay, right. Well, um, this one does not have any notes in it, as far as I can tell. 
So we're gonna drive out of here. What even is this thing? This thing's big. It's a beast of a machine. God, blimey, the turning on it's rubbish though. It's really hard to turn. Well, oh well. Hopefully it's just, hopefully they're gonna fix that. But yeah, we are going to go and pick up the cultivator. And um, yeah, I'm gonna cut to when we're over by the field. Bye for now. So I'm just connecting up to this thing and it's massive. Anyway, I'll see you over by the field. Bye for now. Um, well, uh, I didn't expect it to be this big. Look how big this tool is, this cultivator. It's huge. This small little field he wants me to cultivate. It's going to be done in about a minute. Probably only needs to go about three swings around it. Anyway, I'm going to do the headland of the field, um, which will do basically most of the entire field. But yeah, even this big bud thing, I've, I looked at the name, which is absolutely massive. I mean, the interior is big. I mean, just look at it. So many dials. Luckily, I understand that some of them are like fuel and some of them are brake pressure and all of that lovely stuff. But still, massive. I mean, the plough on the cultivator on the back is big as well. I mean, it's, it's hard trying to fathom out how to unfold it things. There's only a few levers in here. You sort of look at it and go, they've got so much stuff here. You're surprised that there's like two levers to actually do everything. Yeah, they've got all of these buttons and dials that just show like brake pressure and oil <laughs> liquid pressure and stuff. You just, it's weird. I don't know how old this thing is. So maybe it's old and that's why it's got so much stuff in it. It's got this little button thing and then it's just not got very many buttons in it. It's really just loads of dials. It's not as confusing as it looks when you first see it, really, I suppose you could say. Anyway, we're going to carry on doing this. I'm enjoying pulling this. I mean, mind you, we are going uphill now, so we're going to really slow right down to about three miles per hour, maybe. Which won't be really fun to do, but oh well. Oh, one! We've gone down to one! Blimey, I thought this thing had a, just a tad bit more power, and we're stuck. Right, well, um, I'm going to try to do that another way. Uh, we're going to come down again and just hope that works. Oh, that's a bit strange. There's like an extra patch there. How very bizarre. How very bizarre. Anyway, we're up. So we're going to spin around and do all of that again. Apart from it's going to be working this time, we're going downhill and not uphill, so we're not struggling for power. I mean, this thing, the amount of black smoke coming out of it could re flipping out. It's like the Industrial Revolution and stuff, but oh well. We are going to drop that down. Uh, we have gone past it. Brakes on this thing aren't that good really as well. I know, I'm still getting used to it. It's because it's such a big machine, like a mammoth of a machine. It's probably why not everything's good in it. Now, I think it's quite old actually. I don't know. Anyway. We are going to do this and I'll see you once I have finished doing this field. Bye for now. Right then, well that's basically almost it all entirely done. I just need to go back up the top and get that last little bit which I've been leaving behind for most of this. And yeah, I believe that's going to be in the video. I don't know how long this video is. Might be 6 minutes, might be 20 minutes. I don't know, I've sort of lost track of time. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the fact that for the first half I hauled and then for the second half I helped out a farmer. Anyway. I have enjoyed making this video, I'm just going to go up here and then that will be the end of the video. So, we're going to get this last bit done, which will be very fun, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, head up here, do this little last little bit, and yeah, I'm just going to check my phone to make sure it hasn't asked me for do anything else, and yeah, I'll be right back, see you again very soon, bye for now. Right on my well, there's nothing on the good old phone. So yeah, we're just gonna do this. I forgot to lower the cultivator. I was driving over that, which is quite embarrassing. Sort of, I'm not really used to this thing. It's sort of a bit funky to drive, but yeah, that's probably because I'm just not used to driving something this big. Anyway, I've got my foot to the floor currently, and it's still struggling to pull this thing, even though it's massive, oh well probably just the fact that this cultivator is really heavy and anyway, I lift it fold it and it sort of looks like a dying spider when you fold it I've noticed ah, I'm dying no don't spray me with the fly spider spray no I'm dead now 
sort of looks like a dead spider when they curl up, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to head back to the farm, drop this off, and I'll see you there. Bye for now. Also, another quick thing, I just realised all the crops are growing, so next video um, will probably be a harvesting video. Also, quick another thing to say, uh, the No Man's Land Building a Village series has sadly ended now, and it's going to be replaced with farming on this map, so soon I'm going to be the owner of this farm, and we're going to do a little bit of a role play on here, until I get bored of it, and we'll do another map after that. So I'm going to start doing a few more Let's Plays, and we're going to do a Let's Play on this map, okay? So sadly the Building a Village series has ended, but it was getting really laggy on that map, and also it, I'm sort of getting bored of being on that map, so yeah. It's the end of that series there. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, please tell me if you did subscribe over that series because that'd be cool to know whether or not you subscribe to a certain series. I know lots of you would have come because of my survival roleplay series I'm doing. That will be back very soon. I promise. Um, but it's just me and Alex can't always be doing stuff together because we have th other things to do and it's quite hard to stay on top of that also i did upload a ton of them i should have kept a few but i didn't but yeah we're going to make a, a load in bulk soon eventually i'm going to speak to alex about it well, i have been speaking to him about it but yeah we're just busy and yeah so we're going to try to do it soon anyway i'm going to carry on with the video the only reason i did that u-turn there was to buy a bit more time to speak about this anyway carry on with the role play all right then well, we are just driving into the farm now I'm going to drop this where we found it earlier, just about here, lovely, I'm going to part this uh, big bud back up, no, it's unfolding, it's unfolding, no, the dead spider is unfolding, there we go, the dead spider is no longer unfolding, anyway, I'm going to part this up now, um, I'm going to end the video here, thank you so, 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 so much for watching, next video will probably be on this map or it might even be a new game taurus bus sim firm bus sim bus simulator 18 or another game if i feel like it or if i want to it'll probably be one of those games anyway thank you so much for watching have an absolutely fantastic day bye for now